Okay, now we proceed to Golom coding. It's also called rise if m is a power of 2. So what is m? m is a free parameter. At the very beginning we are always given with a number we are going to encode because it's integer encoding and m. m is a free parameter. We choose it or if you make or solve some tasks m is always given. This is a free parameter. So first of all we'll, I have to explain what we have here. Uh, we have two variables p which depends on m, m is given, we calculate b, this is some, think of it like in an abstract manner, some b which we use later in calculations. Uh, then we divide uh, with reminder and form new variable q. q is our number divided by m and uh, it's floored to the smaller integer. And we calculate the reminder by, we now we know q and we know also x is our number, we calculate r. So we store q as unary code. And now we look at the reminder. The reminder r is stored in a truncated binary representations, uh, representation. It means that uh, it will be a binary number but of some length. Yes. So there are two conditions. If r is smaller than this, 2 power of p minus m, if this, like, small inequality holds, uh, store r, r as binary of length b minus 1. Otherwise, store r as binary number, which is, as this, calculate this and store it as a binary number with the length of b. Now, I will give you some examples which describe a whole spectre of possibilities of this algorithm and uh, it will become clear if it's not. You can also pause it and uh, write it down if you want. Okay, first ramification of the algorithm when the reminder, uh, yeah, this inequality about the reminder holds. This is step by step. Okay, x will be x, now our, our number we encode is 6 and uh, m is 5. We could have chosen any number for m. Uh, it's free parameter, as I said. And we make these calculations. We calculate b, it will be 3, because log 2 from m, where m is 5, uh, is... yeah, it, I calculated it and it's 3. Then q, also calculated, uh, because we floor here, it will be 1. Then we calculate r, r is x minus q multiplied by m, we know all of this because we have calculated q here, m is given. And then we check if the inequality holds, so r has to be smaller than b to the, uh, to, than 2 to the power of b minus m to hold the inequality. Yeah, and uh, uh, this inequality actually holds here, thus we store b as binary number with the length of b minus 1, which equals to 2. Uh, I advise you to calculate it yourself and to produce the code, but I will give you the code. And this is the correct code to encode uh, x when x is 6 with m equals 5. In the second ramification where the inequality will not hold, you can see it here, uh, it's a slightly different uh, way of doing it. Yeah, well, a slightly different possibility. And once again, we can calculate b by a formula, formula is given, then we calculate q once again by the same formula, x is smaller than m. Thus, we can produce zero, actually, we're round to the next smallest integer it's zero in this case. We calculate r by the formula once again, we check whether the inequality holds or not and uh, we make our decision according to that. So we store r as this number, once again formula for your simplicity, and try to produce the final code by yourself. But I will give you it in any case. So q is zero and r 
is 7 in binary and length of 3. Length of three. Right, and uh, that's actually it. That's all uh, about encoding. Now we will go to the decoding of the algorithm. Okay, this is the outline for a decoding process for Golomb and Golomb Rice encoding system. So first of all, we decode Q when we are given with the code. Uh, here, I want you to notice that Q uh, in unary system will be represented by a sequence of ones followed by terminating zero. Yeah. Uh, we find B, B, B as always is uh, given with this formula and to move forward we have to interpret the next B minus 1 bits as binary number R tilde. If R tilde is smaller than 2 to the power of B minus M holds, yeah, this is our reminder. Otherwise we use another bit to search for R tilde and uh, we, the reminder is given by R equals R tilde minus 2 to the power of B plus M and final number is given by the formula I think uh, the example will clarif clarify it to a very good extent okay and now an example we are given with this code and this M if we don't have M, this becomes completely undecodable. We have to know M. It's always given. So we find B once again by the formula we already know. We look uh, to find Q. Q is 1 from here. We have here 1 and then a terminating 0. That means Q is 1. Because U, Q is encoded in the unary system. Then we find R tilde. Of course, we look at the sequence after Q, we ignore the Q, we look at the next bits to find R tilde. So, uh, we look actually at these bits. Uh, B was 3, so we use B minus 1 bits, and at the end we only have 3 minus 1 bits, 2 bits, uh, we have no other option. and. Uh, we actually decode R tilde, this, it is 1. We look at the inequation, 1 is smaller than 2 to the power of 3 minus 5. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Uh, thus, uh, we use R tilde as a reminder and use it in this formula. Q is known from this step, M is known from the beginning, R is known from this step. And thus, x is 6. You can check me if you want or try to decode something on your own. And another example. We are given that this code and this m. Okay? We calculate b in a similar fashion. We look at the q. We are trying to understand what's q. We have here 0. We know which way of, binary, of unary coding we use in Golomb coding. This is uh, number 3 will be represented 1110 this is this way of unary coding because uh, also 0, 0, 0, 1 this way exists but we we use here this way okay uh, so we we'll look here is 0 thus q is 0 and here's the case uh, where our inequality does not hold so r tilde uh, at the end we use it as b minus 1 bits from this sequence because that refers to q this refers to determining uh, r tilde so the inequality doesn't hold I am proving it here you can try it yourself if you don't believe me then r tilde uh, we know that the inequality does not hold so we use b bits 3 bits because b is 3 from here we use 3 bits 1, 1, 1 from here and uh, we look at it as if it's binary number we decode it from binaries this is 7 from binary and uh, thus R is defined by this formula R tilde with 7 minus 2 to the power of B 
it is 8 plus m5 minus 1 plus 5 equals 4 and x is defined by the formula I have already given to you and this is the calculation this is our final result this is the number that has been encoded by this sequence